Hello guys, how are you diddling? How's your games here? Um, just having a, a quick game of arcade pool, as you can see. Team 17. So excited when this uh, when this came out. I really was. So I've tried to record this. This is the fourth time now. Um, hopefully this time it will record. Because I'm getting a bit hoarse. <clears throat> um, so anyway, without any further ado, we've got all different variations. UK 8 ball. Uh, we've got US 9 ball. Let's have a quick blast at that. Um, Steve, we meet again. Bloody hell, how deep is the table? Sounds like they were falling into a plastic dustbin. So, you think you can get away with that, do you, Steve? Um, well, I've got news for you. There's no push-outs, by the way, in this game. As far as I know, I think the bugger in there. It's a sod, isn't it? But anyway, let's just whack them with it being an arcade game. Well, Steve, this time I got you, mate. I've been waiting for this day. I don't hear any comments. Any remarks of yours? Uh, that's just between me and Steve, by the way. Uh, we had a Scott settle. So there you've got the stats, right? I am a hustler, guys. Unbelievable. We'll give him another chance. In fact, what we'll do, we'll go to play... Um, Bit of eight ball, I think. UK eight ball. Yeah, why not? Right, change that base. Steve, revenge is sweet. Do your best. He's so good, Steve. He knows everything. There's always a Steve, isn't there? Do you know I uh, ask Steve in the pub? He'll know. Steve's good with uh, computers. Steve's done that. Steve went there last year on holiday. It's always Steve, isn't it? I think I've been. Uh, I think I've been playing this for too long. It's getting to me. Um, we've also got tournaments in this. The cursor there is slightly. Uh, Smaller than the, the cue ball, apparently. <laughs> oh, bugger. Well done, Steve. You made a great effort. And now you are the hustler. Um, I don't know if it's possible for these AI players to hold grudges. But I'm starting to get the impression that um, Steve is he's, um, he's winding me up. Got the orchestra upstairs there, the neighbours' dogs day in, day out, howling. Love dogs. Not their fault. Got about five dogs. Let's have a look. US. Let's do a US 8 ball. Back to the blue bears. Come on, Steve. What's oh, my shot? Right, so I can move the cue ball here. Stripe and the cue ball. Great start. Think about it, Steve. Don't make any rash decisions. Great shot, Steve. What will you do next? 
and he's left us with practically nothing. Practically nothing. Not a lot I can do about this. I don't, I don't want to go in off. Luck is not on our side today. Why did you go for my ball, Steve? Um, so you see this little skirt at the bottom? If you hold the, hover the mouse over mouse pointer over the uh, ball, it tells you which ball it is. You see, it's the only way you can tell, apart from the colours. Okay, can get on that one. Can I see that one? Possibly. Um, yeah, that path seemed pretty true. So I've tried also tried the uh, screw back on this, which worked. It does work. Great positional shot. I was lucky again to get that one in because that's how bloody hard it is. I hope we're going to teach him a lesson here. Not quite. Not quite. We've got a round of applause. Come on, Steve, let the dog see the rabbit. He actually made a ball there. This should be pretty straightforward, but nothing in this game is straightforward. My eyes are going funny. So ideally, I'd want to pocket that in there. Not too hard, not too hard. I don't want to snooker myself. Oh God, I went for the wrong ball, that's his fault, it's your fault Steve. That was so ironic, now what are you going to do? Come on, I can take the pressure. Ah, oh, you git. But you put on mine as well, right? That's... No way, no way. Set him up, Steve. You're not getting away with it. Yeah, I did drop a clanger. Huge clanger. But it happens to the best of us, Steve. Yeah, give him a, think about it. Think about it first. I don't want you making any mistakes, Steve. Loved by everybody. The people's champion. Run spots. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. We're on spots. My God. What a setup. What a setup. I don't know. I don't honestly. Where they stop, nobody knows. Okay, so let's um, let's see what damage we can do, Steve. He's the favourite. He's the favourite. Always has been. Always will be. Terrible, terrible shot. Again, uh, no excuses for that. I wish I could make excuses, but I can't. Can't make any excuses. Yeah, that was a double kiss. Yeah, just put Steve's 
call in will ya I was so excited on the release of this I ran down to the shop kicked the door down ran to the shelf I smelt all the boxes because you could smell the, the boxes back in them days you know what I mean um, eventually it got bad but uh, not before I bought this I bought a box version of Barcade Pool Team 17 and that was uh, Wow, so I couldn't even, I couldn't wait to get home. I couldn't get home fast enough to try it out. Because it didn't last for long. It didn't last for long. Not with people like Steve around. Party pooper. Does all this weird shit. That's what he's doing now, isn't he? Unbelievable. You've lost, Steve. That's what that's what happens when you're a clever clogs. You can't always win. Um, so let's just exit that. We've seen the game. Now I don't want to go into too much detail, but I will tell you that um, we've got a killer mode. We've got eight fifteen ball, custom eight ball. You can set your own uh, rack up or tournament, probably nine ball challenge survivor, which is killer. And you got trick shot. Now the thing about the trick shot is, this is where you get to test out all those shots that you thought would never go. You can also move these around, um, and the physics are quite sort of fun in this. Um, if I take that and I put it there, see the start sort of physic here. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but anyway. So you can sort of test them out just to see if you can. Um, I think I tried a, a, a shot from here down the rail, like the short rail, from here to here. Um, I can't move that. Here I can. Did the short one. I uh, did the long one. Obviously that ball was a little bit further back, round about here. Um, not a problem. Then I, I did a cut from here, an impossible cut. A prime cut, in fact. Uh, all from about that position all the way down there to that pocket which took me some time to achieve believe it or not um, so you can test all those things out on the practice table and as I say you take your shot if you don't like the shot that you've taken or you make a mistake um, you can undo that shot which is grand isn't it You've got to set it up again. So you can do all your extensive testing in trick shot mode. Now, I don't know how it's done that. Uh, Team 17, uh, back in the day, very brave, very brave to release a game like this at the time. Uh, there was nothing quite like it. Uh, when Jimmy White Snooker came out, I was gone. But this for me is a blast from the past. If you want to have a knock around, a good laugh with your mates. This is great for that reason. It is great for that reason. Don't expect to get great at it. Or, you know, so. Because it's arcade. But um, if you're looking for a bit of a laugh. Maybe a Sunday game. Chill out. Training outside. Got a few mates around. Give it a shot. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, play some killer, play some speed pool against the clock, play eight ball or nine ball, whatever takes your fancy. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys. I was thinking about uploading the um, arcade snooker by Team17. If you'd like to see that, it's the same interface and everything, um, let us know and I'll be happy to upload a video on that. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye bye now.